Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Pavilion X360 laptop here. This particular one is an X360-13-S101 model and the two letters after the 101 is the country code that means C-A-L-A, L-A for Latin America, C-A for Canada, but the model for this one is a 13-S101. 13 is for 13 inch, 101S, S101 is the model for this. And this version name for this laptop, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM on this. They do come with a two, uh, two RAM DME slot available and you can actually upgrade them. This one has an 8 gig I believe inside but you can upgrade it to 16 gig with no issue. First thing first, the tools that you're gonna be needing. So let's go over those. It's a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set. This one has a really good bed. The beds are S2 class steel. So grab a Phillips number one from here. Also, you need an opening tools and some tweezers. For the opening tool or tweezers, you can get the pro set that they include you with the tweezers and opening tools and many other things. I'll leave the link in my video description. Or instead of that, you can get separately a, a curved tweezers or a straight tweezers. Um, for the opening tool, I am using a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick. These are really suitable. These are my favorite to have around to opening covers, to uh, laptops, tablets. These are really nice to use on those. With all those uh, on hand, now we're going to flip over the laptop and you're going to see a whole bunch of screws down here. There are a few hidden screws. Those hidden screws are on the middle, on, on the disc cover. You just stick your sharp tweezer underneath and lift it up. Has an adhesive to it. So there are two of them. Remove these two, and there should be one more like that over here, but this one is already fall off. And once you remove these covers, you're gonna remove these rubber covers. So stick it right there, puncture, and just lift it up. And one right there, one right over here. Now, this one actually, there's a rubber leg at the corner. This one is uh, fell off, I guess. And this has a little adhesive, lift it up. On this side, same thing, just go ahead and lift it up. Now that's all the hidden screws in here. Now we're gonna start proceeding with removing all the screws on the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove all of them. Also, I realize there's only one percent of the, my viewers are subscribed to my channel. If you guys find my content helpful and helping you guys out, and you wanna support the channel, you can click that like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions. Alright, once you remove all the screws at the bottom cover, now what you need to do is open up the laptop a little bit, grab the opening tool, and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover right there. This one has a broken corner with the customer dropped it. So once you have it in there, now you want to twist it towards the outside. Do that every for every centimeter, every two centimeters. Just keep doing that. Do that to the right and left side. Once you did the left and right side, just grab it, move it around a little bit, work it around, and it should come out. Don't yank it out. But there's a few cables underneath we need to remove. There's a flex cable for the trackpad and a flex cable for the keyboard. We need to remove those. To remove the flex cable for the trackpad, just simply put your fingernail at the, this black cover on the bottom and just lift it up 90 degrees and remove the flex cable. For the track, for the keyboard, same thing. From the back side, this one is from the other side. Lift up 90 degrees and pull out the trackpad, I mean the flex cable. And there's your palm rest. Now, the RAMs are still not available. I have no idea why this laptop, these brands are like this. 
other brands, other models, they do actually give you a little tiny cover on the bottom. You can unscrew, remove the cover and upgrade your RAM. But in here, they actually want to make you work for it or make you make it impossible. Because once you even open it, the RAM is not even on top here. I still have to remove the whole motherboard and access the RAM on the other side. So we have no other options than proceed. First thing first, we're going to disconnect the battery. The battery cable is right here. I don't recommend you guys yank on the cables. So put your curve tweezer or tweezers on the corners here and by the jack right there and then pull it back. Just like that. It should come out. Or you can use your fingernail if you have a nail, just grab it from the nail, just pull it back from here. Once you disconnect, you remove that one, go ahead and remove the flex cable for the uh, hard drive. Lift up the cover 90 degrees and remove the flex cable. Remove the flex cable for this bridge over here for IO. Just lift up 90 degrees and remove the flex cable. You can remove it from here too. So you can remove it completely. Remove the on-off switch flex. Lift it up. And now we're going to remove the antenna cable right here. Just put your tweezers underneath and lift it up towards the ceiling. Uh, we're going to remove the flex cable for the LCD. This one is from this side. Lift it up 90 degrees and pull out the flex cable. For the power jack, same thing. Just use your fingernails at the back corner. Just pull it out and slide it backward. And for the touch, this is for the uh, digitizer for the touch screen. Slide it back. Now we're going to unscrew a few screws. We're going to start from this side, removing this plate. Remove one screw and lift up this plate. Put the screw beside the plate so you don't mismatch them. And we're going to remove this speaker cable, but once we lift it up a little bit, because we don't have room to move it. Go ahead and remove this screw right here. And there's one tiny screw right at the corner. And down here, there's one screw right here by the keyboard flex remove the screw right by on the Wi-Fi board remove the screws that are touching the fan so this one over here these two okay now we remove this one, this one over here, the, that one over there. Now we can go ahead and lift up the motherboard slowly from this side up. Gently. Remove this tape right here. And just wrap it up, you don't need it. Once you lift it up from here, now you're going to pull out the speaker cable back. So disconnect the speaker cable. Now lift up the motherboard. Bring it out. The battery for the BIOS. So you, I don't want to disconnect the battery for the BIOS because it has a configuration. Just go ahead and detach it from the base. It has a little adhesive. So there you go. And now you can grab the whole motherboard, bring it up. So there's a U55 board, leave it on top and your uh, BIOS battery. Now we're going to set it down like this. Or you can just simply close it up, put it here. The RAMs are under this cover, metal sheet, right here. You can lift up the metal sheet easily just by putting your finger right at the corner, right there, and lift it up. Okay. So bring it up this way, put it back down, way around. And you can see there's only one RAM right here to remove the RAMs. To remove the RAM is really simple. You just have to pull these two triggers away from each other. So grab these two triggers and pull them away. And the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to grab it and pull it out in the same 45 degree angle. These are 4 gigabyte DDR3 RAMs. I'll leave the link for a compatible DDR3 RAMs for this one. 
you can put an 8 gig and an 8 gig if you wish so let's say you got a new ram just grab it in 45 degree angle make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch on the dim which is right there and bring it all the way through and push it towards the motherboard and you should hit these two triggers once you have the next ram just grab it bring it in 45 and push it towards the motherboard Right, but I'm not doing any upgrade on this one. Now there's a tricky thing right here. Let's say that you upgrade the RAM, you put an additional RAM here and you set up the whole thing, you install everything and you turn on and everything turns on, but there's no screen and there's an issue right there, then you have to open it up again and then swipe the places for the RAMs in order for the BIOS to detect. So that's a big uh, turn off. So if you turn on the laptop and you don't see any screen, you just have to turn it back off, remove the RAM, swipe the places and turn it on and wait five to 10 seconds for the BIOS to detect the RAM and you should be ready to go. And then next is to grab the cover here. There's a tiny hooks in the corners here. They have to grab it from the corner. So align the hooks right there and push it in there and the rest should go in pretty easy. This one didn't go all the way, so I just close it down. It went through, it went through. Nice, nice. There we go. Once you got this one through, now what you need to do open up the laptop. You're gonna grab the motherboard, you're gonna bring it down. Make sure all these cables are staying out of the way. You just need a few more fingers here to work. The Wi-Fi cables have to go on top. This flex cable for the LCD has to go on top. This one has to go here. This one goes over. The battery goes right there. And there we go. Now we're going to lift it up a little bit. So we can connect the speaker cables. Right through here. And then set it down. Next is to plug in this power jack connector. Straight align it and then push it towards the jack. Grab the track and digitizer or touch screen connector and then slide it right through the connector. And then push the tape right over. Now on this side, put the battery down, put the cable right beside it, grab the flex cable for the screen, open up the lock, bring it down in 45 degree angle, all the way to, straight through the jack. Uh, set it down and close it down. Run the cable right there, plug in the Wi-Fi cable, just add, align the cable right there. You just have to align it over and then punch it through. It just kind of snap on, you have to align it right straight over the jack. Um, pretty much this one over here, you have to align it and then just pop through the board. Push it towards the board. The yeah, on-off switch. Plug it in. Now we're gonna grab the bridge cable right here. Plug in this one over here. Grab this one over here. And lock it down. Grab the screws and start screwing the motherboard in place. One over there. The next one goes over here. This one over here goes with a plate, so put the plate on top. And then put the screw. 
Remember there's a tiny black screw goes in the corner, that's the tiny one. And then Wi-Fi uh, screw. And then three screws for the fan. And there we go. And go ahead and plug in the cable for the hard drive. Slide it right underneath the jack, bring it down in 45 degree angle. And lock it in place. And the last thing down here would be to grab the power battery jack connector and then straight inward, accommodate the cables, put it right there. Grab the palm rest, bring it over, and open up the lock for the keyboard. You slide it from the back down. Bring it in 45 degree all the way in, hold it, and with the other finger just close it. Lock for the trackpad, open it up, slide it right underneath, and lock it in place. And then bring it over and just pinch the top and the bottom cover, and you should hear few clicks. And that's how you place it down. And remember, when you turn it on, it might take to 5 to 10 seconds to, for the BIOS to detect. So let's turn it on. And let's see how long it takes. Well, I didn't upgrade my RAM, but there's the logo, and we should get the Windows inside the Windows. It has an SSD drive. I made a video how to upgrade the SSD on this one. All right, let's turn it off. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to upgrade your RAM for your HP X360 13 S101 model. If it did, please click the like button and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel. Again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in my next video.